Hi, first grade. It's Miss Olkowski. Um, <clears throat> I hope everyone's doing well today. Um, so let's think back to, goodness, before we left school, we had just started talking about graphs and the importance of graphs, the information that they give us. And we started talking about bar graphs and pictographs. So those are the two types of graphs we are going to focus on um, for this particular um unit okay so let's first uh think back to before we left and we were talking about remember we had the animals and we organized them into um, the categories of di the different characteristics of mammals okay and reptiles and so and fish and birds and we're looking on all those characteristics and we sorted them and that's about as far as we got with graphing before um, unfortunately, we had to leave school. So let's just pick up where we left off. And today I'm going to continue talking about graphs, the functions of graphs, the features that we see in graphs, and the information that we use um, whenever we do see a graph. So we, um, the reason, the purpose of us recording information on a graph is to make decisions. So we collect our data through, um, data is also, data also means information. We collect our data on a topic and that can be from anything from sports to um, how many shorts do you have versus pants because mom or dad need to know how many, um, if they need to buy you more shorts for the summer. And then, you know, things like um, oh, I don't know what types of shoes you have. Do you have more tennis shoes than um, flip-flops? And so based on the information that we get from that um, survey or that collection, we can, make, we can make decisions from there, okay? So just for today, let's go ahead and look at something like our colorful marshmallows, okay? And this is just like a cooking show. I'm going to go ahead and just quickly sort the marshmallows and so you can kind of see what we have and before I'm, I'm sorting them right now and so for the sake of our lesson we are only doing up to four categories so I went ahead and created a bar graph for you okay so let's go ahead and look at our bar graph we need a title for it so basically what are we sorting we are sorting marshmallows. So I'm going to go ahead and put a title on our graph. Marshmallows, okay? The types of marshmallows we have. If you notice on the side, I'm counting up, okay? I'm counting by one, two, three, by what? Turn and talk to... Um, a partner, it could be your dog, it could be um, a stuffed animal, it could be mom, dad, or your little sister. What are we counting by here? Ones. So graphs, we can count by ones up the side or we can count by twos or tens just depending on the amount of information we have or the number of objects or people we have. But for this graph, we're going to count by ones, okay, and we're going up to ten. All right, we titled our graph marshmallows. Now we need to put our categories. So let's go ahead and let's look at our marshmallows. Let's see what kind we have. We have a, what, a moon, a star, a what, heart, and a cloud. Oh no, I'm sorry, this is a clover. So on my bar graph, I'm gonna go ahead and label our categories and for the sake of this graph today we're only going to do four categories okay so we have stars a star uh, we have a moon we have clover and we have a heart okay now I need to collect my information. I need to see how many of each oh, that I have, okay? So for my clovers, um, and this is a bar graph, so I'm going to make rectangles. I'm gonna make it look like a bar, okay? So for my clovers, I'm counting by twos, two, 
four. I'm sorry, the sun's coming in. Six, I have six clovers. So I'm gonna go ahead and make six clovers. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm gonna make a bar graph. There's one. And then for my hearts, I have, I have, uh, let's go for my hearts, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight hearts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight hearts. So far we see who has more, right? There are more hearts than uh, clovers. So quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and do the stars. The stars have 10. So let me go do 10 stars. I'm trying to get it all filled in here so you can see that it looks like a bar. Okay, and really they're just those those big those towers that we make. Okay, so so far let's look at our information. We see stars are stars have the most so far, and listen to those words: the most, the fewest. Uh, let's see. And now last we have the moon. Okay. And the moons have, I counted those out. Those have nine. So let's go ahead and make uh, nine moons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and it's important, don't forget to use your one-to-one -one correspondence if you're whether you're counting objects or you're sorting by color, um, make sure you use your one-to-one -one correspondence recount to make sure that your information is correct. Okay, so let's look at our bar graph that we created. All right, so once you get your information, we can go ahead and answer certain questions. And you're going to hear words like, which was the most common, which was the least common. So based on this chart, let's go ahead and answer a few questions, okay? All right, who has the most? What did I have the most marsh marshmallows? Okay, can you turn and talk to a buddy? Okay, so if you said stars, the correct, stars will have the most amount of marshmallows in um, the mix. Who had the least amount? Okay. If you said the clover, you are correct. The clover had, let's count, one, two, three, four, five, six. The clover had the six. And if you notice, all of them are starting at the very bottom of the graph. Okay, so the clover had six. All right, so let's count quickly how many all together. Let's start with our largest number. So there were 10 here. So 10 plus nine is what? 19, this is where our adding comes in. 19 plus, uh, let's see, six clovers are what? 25, and then let's count by ones. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. So there were 33 marshmallows all together in our in our graph. Um, one more thing you're going to hear whenever we're looking at data or information is how many more, okay? And we already started talking about this throughout all the first grade unit, but um, let's focus more when we are comparing uh, information on a graph. So if we compare the stars and the moons, how many more stars than the moon? Remember, we would look at our information 
and we would say how many how many do they have both have the same amount and remember we would count we would kind of see where they're level and see how many do they each have let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They both have nine. How many more does a star have? One. Okay, very good. There's one more star than there is um, the moon. So for today's activity, activities this week's and moving forward, um, you're going to be looking at information in both the bar graph and the pictograph. But today, uh, you will be looking at a bar graph and the different the uh, information there and using that to answer questions. Okay. All right. So off you go. And if you have any questions, reach out to me. All right. Thanks, first grade.